We finally have Uber coming to Vancouver, and I'm on the streets today asking what people think about it. This is Vancouver Talks. Finding a taxi in Vancouver is difficult. Um, Super difficult. In September, Uber's coming to Vancouver. So September 16th, uh, the government gave the okay. Wow. Uh, so people can register and be drivers and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Uber and Lyft, what's your thoughts? Are you looking forward to Uber? Have you actually tried Uber in another yeah. city? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm looking forward to Uber it. in the States. Yeah. yeah. It's so quick. So yeah, easy. I think it's a really great alternative to taxis. That's like, just all around a good thing. <laughs> you can't see anything bad about that. It's a good thing. Two up for bus. Nice and cheap. Nice and easy. Accessible. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So when it does come out, you'll be the first one to try it. Yeah, for sure. sure. Uber is finally coming to Vancouver. Thank God, yeah. September 16th. What right. are your thoughts? I already hear I already hear your thoughts already. Well, I've only just started using Uber, and that was back in Toronto before I flew out here. Yeah. And I was just frustrated coming out here that all we have is buses or expensive cabs. So it's quite nice to get Uber coming out In the middle, in here. the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think it's a great idea. Um, bring on Uber to Vancouver, I say. Okay, yeah. go for it, yes. Yeah. A hard yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of taxis. <laughs> tired of it's because like um, it's hard to hail a taxi on like a Friday night at one in the morning. When you're drunk and yeah, yeah, and sometimes they turn you away because they're like scared you're gonna vomit in their car. Yeah, so. or you live too far. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to drive. So you. Uber is is probably gonna be great. I'll say yes to Uber. Uber, yes to Uber. Yeah, I'm excited to it. Yeah, it'll be making my life more convenient for most people. And yeah. yeah, when uh, SkyTrain closes and buses run. That really close at like one in the morning. I or know something. it closes really early. Like twelve. 20 or something like that. Yeah, it's like too I think early. One for the expo line and like 12 something. Way too early. Yeah. Can't get home. FYI for people that want to visit here. Yes. Yes, super early. <laughs> yeah. So you're drunk and trying to look for a taxi. It's terrible. Or the night bus, which is. It hardly comes. Hardly comes. Every hour? It's terrible. Yeah, something like that. In Italy, uh, Uber by the taxist is uh, is aged because they're stealing their job. They don't let Uber. In. No, they don't let Uber in Italy, and it stayed just for like three months, and then it was uh, fired. Uber cannot be a good thing here in Vancouver. You know, you so? uh, don't don't cost so much, yeah. and uh, you can go everywhere, and you know it's anytime. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If Uber comes here, will you use? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah, course. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe for long distance, you know. Yeah, yeah. You, you or can late, use it. late night, or yeah, late yeah, night yeah. is better because you there there aren't you know buses yeah. or sky train or yes, you yes, can yes, go yes. anywhere. When you're drinking, and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you need a ride. Uber, have you used Uber? Have you used Lyft? Yeah, I've yeah. used uh, quite a bit of Uber. Finally getting the okay for Uber. Oh, Lyft thank to come God. Here. Yeah. Is it a good thing for Vancouver? I good love thing? it. Yeah, I we've been honestly waiting for. Vancouver to get it for like a few years it's always been like it's coming no <laughs> next coming, year yeah. so yeah. no it'll be good so you're not gonna use taxis no no it's so much more convenient you go on an app and you know exactly where your yeah. uber driver is did you have to wait long for an uber no no it's usually guys in the area that'll pick up they are acquiring uber drivers and lyft drivers in bc to have a class four license trying to like keep the taxi industry going yeah that uh, makes sense i mean i know the taxis were the ones that were fighting uber forever right so if you can kind of keep them happy because it kind of gives priority to people that already have that yeah. license what's the process to go call for uber and... mm -hmm. well i think i have it on my phone here but <laughs> it's useless here actually there's uber eats here uber eats yeah. but you just kind of say where you're going yeah. and then it'll give you a, like a notification when a driver accepts your request to be picked up and then it shows them so that, the that exception to a request is usually pretty quick yeah oh yeah within a couple minutes maybe oh, five right, minutes right. yeah oh, okay. so you're not waiting for like oh it's yeah exactly. and i think that's the big thing about downtown vancouver is when you when it's raining or something when the weather's not so nice you can't get a taxi around here it's it's oh, usually yeah, like a yeah. big wait yeah and when it's not nice here, where it's like half the year, <laughs> when it rains half the year, you need it. Yeah. Have you been to other cities that have Uber, Lyft? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I come from Portland, Oregon, and we have Lyft and Uber there. So, did you ever use a taxi ever again? No. No. I, no. I used a taxi one time before Lyft and Uber was even a thing. It cost me twice as much as any Lyft or any Uber. Oh, okay, okay. The reason why we're asking is because Vancouver is finally getting so. Yeah. Get it. Get, get it. it. There's requirements. Okay. BC government is saying that they have to have a class four license, which is the same as a taxi license to drive. Restrictions aren't necessarily a bad thing. I think it, it gives them accountability. You know, it holds them to it. Mm. From what have I experienced in my city, and uh, even in Arizona or the other states I've yeah. been to in the US, yeah. Lyft and Uber has been good, cheaper, cheaper, and I've never had a problem with it. Never, ever, not once. 
I've even left my phone and wallet in a lift, and the guy contacted my friends oh. and got my stuff back to me the next day. Because the app and the service holds them accountable for absolutely, yeah, yeah, it does. You're on, you're on paper. You're, you're yeah. on the grid. We never had it here before. Okay. How do you start? And it's like from the beginning to the end process. Just a quick, quick overview for people that don't know. All right, so I'll just kind of give you the play-by-play. -play. So I unlock my phone. And one more guy's password. So I got Lyft there. I oh, clicked shit. the Lyft app, and then I it asked me where my destination is. It already knows where I'm at. Yeah. And then it gives me the closest driver. It tells me how much I'm going to pay. Oh shit. It gives me two options. It depends on how big your group is. If it's a smaller group, you've got the regular lift. If it's a bigger group, if I got a group of six, it has the lift XL. You click your destination, your driver comes, you get there, you tip them if you want. I like to tip. Do, do you tip them in the car or do you? No, no, it's all through the app. It's so all you know, there's, the app. No, there's no exchange of anything? No, no exchange at all. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, it's great. And a lot of these guys, I mean, these guys work harder than a lot of any taxi drivers I've ever met. They let you pick out the music sometimes, you know. They, oh, shit. They, they've okay. got car chargers, they've got waters, they've got everything. It's usually not their main job, it's usually like... No, it's a side job, and a lot of these guys take it very seriously. It's a very cool thing. I think you guys would absolutely benefit Sweet. from it. Okay, okay. Especially because the city's so big and it's so uh, hard to navigate. Okay, a lift or Uber? I'm a lift guy. I am. What's the difference? Uber in the States has had some problems. Oh, okay. Reported problems. Oh, you yeah. never hear about Lyft in the news at all. They are straight by the books. I've never had a problem. I've never heard of anyone who has had a problem. I prefer Lyft. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. Imp Square out.